a Google nonprofit organization that I work with had the idea of trying to train rats for the detection of landmines. And as a vegetarian and an animal lover, I was so impressed with how well cared for the rats were. And it, it wasn't the image you get of, you know, re animal research. Well, there, there's a whole field of science called comparative cognition. And that's the question that they ask is, in terms of mental abilities and intelligence, how do different species match up to each other? And usually the answer is that they're all equally intelligent if you ask the right question. So if you ask a rat to draw a picture, he's not going to do a great job with that because his vision's not so great and he doesn't have you know, an opposable thumb. But if you ask him to, to tell you what he knows about events in the world and even use his imagination, some of my research was looking at how rats can imagine things that aren't there. I think it's hard to say that they're, they're not intelligent, right? So a lot of patients are missed in diagnosis. And that's where the rat comes in because he's not looking for it. He's just smelling it. And because his sense of smell is just so incredibly sensitive, even if there are traces of the bacteria present, the rats can detect it. The rats aren't unique in their ability to smell TV or explosives. They're unique in their trainability, their lifespan, and their strong sense of smell. So if there's any problem out there in the world that has a unique odor profile, I think the rats have a role in helping. The rats are just incredibly cost efficient. You know, they, they don't take a lot to maintain. They have an incredibly huge and variety of diet that they eat every week, every day, but, but it still doesn't cost as much as, you know, maintaining some really high-end laboratory equipment. Just go to apopo.org. You'll find out all of the information about our organization there. And you can also sign up to adopt one of our rats. You can choose um, between our rats working in mine detection or in TV detection. And you can choose to do like a one-off support or even a recurring monthly support to keep that rat going. If you, if you choose a monthly one, you'll even get a monthly update on how many lives did your rat save this year or this month.